Good evening, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I'm going to show you this really, really nice CLA 220 AMG line. Uh, I'm just doing this video again. We had a video on this car before, but I had the microphone facing the wrong way, so you couldn't hear a bloody thing at all. So uh, I'm just going to run through a lot of the details on the car again, if that's okay. If this car is of interest to you, it might be helpful. So anyway, let's have a look around the car. Just in case you're wondering who we are, we are a main dealer in Kildare Town. So over here, there's Maxall, there's Honda. There's Hyundai there, and then up the road, there is also a Mercedes dealer, and then there's garages in Nays, Tullamore, and Carlow as well. So if you're spending money, uh, and a lot of money, on a nice Mercedes like this, um, there's going to be good after-sale service because the family-run business in operation for so long. So let's have a look around the car. So this car is a car that we sold brand new and it's got a full dealer service history from the garage here. It is in really, really nice condition throughout. Black, I think, is probably one of the nicest colours you can get in the CLA um, and this AMG line, I think, is the nicest specification as well. Um, so first things first, in terms of the outside of the car, uh, moving around to the rear, uh, again, usually uh, I'm probably more expert on the likes of Hyundai and Honda. So Mercedes not so much, but I do have a couple of clients, we'll say, that do buy Mercedes that I have been dealing with over the years. So as you're saying, uh, this customer bought the car brand new and they've gone for the exact same car again. So the one thing I did notice when they were buying the car, there was a pre um, and post facelift model around the 2016. Very, very small differences. But one thing I did like about this, because it was the later model, the exhaust sort of covers uh, that style down along there was much nicer and more oval and it was more succinct with the bumper compared to the previous models that had two squares coming out along there and it kind of stood out away from the bumper it was nice but uh, you know I just think that's a lot more um, comes together it's more uh, complimentary that way the rear lights are a nice LED taillight CLA220 diesel and then down along through here there's a nice contour on the rear bumper as well wheels are in excellent condition um, so they are, so that is a um, 18 inch wheel with a 225 40 profile tyre. That quarter panel is in very nice condition as is the left hand side doors and up onto the wing and similarly that wheel there is in nice condition too. Uh, round to the front there's a small little polish here we got to take off. Uh, after that then I think the front of these cars are so nice on the AMG line. There's a really really nice grille on the front. I think it looks really really cool. Um, bumper's quite nice down along through here and then there is small sensors which I believe are for forward collision mitigation, uh, basically crash prevention uh, technology that's on the car. Um, bonnet up through here in nice condition and then down onto the wing and two doors and onto the quarter panel all look nice. Uh, wheels again, uh, good condition throughout as well so I think anyone that comes to look at the car they'll be quite um, happy with condition on the car overall. Um, so in terms of the engine itself it is and again in my limited knowledge I think that is 2.1 um, and it's in around the figures I seem to get quoted are in the 170 ish horsepower area. Um, there's a really nice gearbox in this car and then road tax for the year is 190 euros. Uh, fuel efficiency actually and I did drive this car when I took it in first and for the power you're getting actually there is really 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 good fuel efficiency on this car. Uh, from what I could see we were somewhere in the region of between four and a half and five litres which is 55 to 60 miles per gallon if you live in the Stone Age like me which is still using those kind of uh, terms for measuring things. Um, but it is actually a surprisingly efficient car considering the power output that is in it. Um, in terms of the boot, let's open it up and have a look inside. So, um, that boot's in really nice condition. So the carpet set is good. The sides are quite good. The back of the seats, which are along here at the front, quite good. And then, it looks like actually it's got a ski tunnel in through there so you can actually access the boot from the rear seats as well um, and then this little area co covers it down and they're a nice bright um, LED style um, license plate light along there so it just gives it that nice executive feel. Um, the chrome goes really nice around the windows but it kind of I suppose depending on the light the skirt down along through there it's always picking up the light that's shining on it every time you see it so they're quite complimentary actually when you look at it. Previous owner had not got young family mature children so really the back of this car didn't see too much uh, too much action, I don't think, because 
most of the time they would have used the car themselves. Um, rear door cards in excellent condition. Rear AMG mats are in very nice condition. Rear seat is in excellent condition. I'm just going to let this window down here as well. Really cool. Pillarless windows. That is damn cool looking. So, anyway, in terms of the rear seat, as we were saying, nice half leather velour with red stitching set up on those. And the seats in them are nice, big, fixed headrests. So it's just a really, really cool looking sporty setup. Check out these front seats. What a nice shape. Like that's just the type of seat you don't see in a regular car at all. So you know when you're sitting in a car like this, it does feel premium and above um, what you'd get in a normal car. So those seats are really cool looking. Excellent condition. Uh, bolster, which is an area of wear on a lot of cars, they are in perfect condition along through there. And then the seat has a pull out, which looks like something small, but believe me, that makes a big difference in terms of comfort. There's also seat heaters on this car, uh, which work in standard. So there's two features on this car. First one is a seat heater, and the second one then is a reverse camera. And those two features are not standard on the car they were specified by the customer usb and auxiliary and all that kind of inf or information all that kind of accessory down through there for charging phones playing music drinks holder cigarette lighter and ashtray which is unused heating controls down through here and then where we want air to blow and air conditioning and all that kind of stuff this is going to control the computer setup through here so i'm just going to close this and let the seat back uh, if I can find it on the rear left right fine so when you're driving the car this is kind of what you see in front of you so I got my setup over here which I can manipulate using this here and it's going to do things for me like we'll say general vehicle settings dynamic kind of modes as in do we want things like dynamic or comfort or auto sort of setups for heating and a throttle response and um, uh, other, we'll say, um, feedback you get from the car when you use the controls. I presume they're dampened as you go down into eco settings or much sport here as you go into sport here setups. Uh, general owner's manual is in through there, which is kind of cool. Time and uh, after that, then we can go back out. We go into telephone, we can go into media, radio, general system settings overall. All actually, and to be fair, genuinely, I found it real frustrating the first time I used it, but it actually does after a while become a lot more user friendly and succinct. Right, there's a word I've used a couple of times, succinct. I've only really learned that recently. Uh, means all comes together pretty nicely in what I understand of it anyway. Now, okay, uh, stop talking rubbish. Okay, so in through here, speedo, average fuel, all that kind of stuff. The average fuel's not going to be great right now because the car has been in our belting bay and that gives a really, really bad sort of setup because the car's just taking over doing nothing. I'm just going to let the window up here to reduce the amount of noise. Paddle shift on this car down through here and over here as well. And wait till you see in a minute, the pickup on this car is real damn good. Uh, I can go through here for other settings as we saw already. Uh, and then after that, controls for volume and general controls for trip computer in through here. Gear stick is here. So drive, park, reverse. And as we saw, then the camera comes in through here as well. After that then, in terms of um, wiper controls and lighting controls all very straightforward through here and it's got a real flat bottomed steering wheel in through here as well so and it's lovely it's big and leather and it's just oh yeah yeah real nice just comes together really nice with the seats overall anyway if you're still here well done because i'm sure some of that is rubbish and you don't need to know it all but um it can be useful let's go let the seat forward and we're going to go to drive i'm going to go for a little drive um the reason is i just want to show in terms of acceleration uh, it really flies through gears, this car. Um, it's such a nice acceleration pattern. So what I'm going to do is, just as we roll down the back of the garage here, I'm just going to go down into that, and then we'll do a little bit of acceleration. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's accelerate. I'm going to put it into manual mode. So now we're in manual. I'm going to put it back into first, actually. I know, unfortunately, this camera's not brilliant. So one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. That is so cool. And so we've got seven gears manual. So basically then, if I want to go down the gears, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you get the idea. So I'm going up and down through gears, or similarly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's have another quick look at the acceleration setup on this car. So, into reverse, back out, and into first. 
So again, same idea, I'm going to use the paddle to change gears because it's so much fun. So first gear flow of the car, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's a little beast. So as you can see, this is heaps and heaps of fun to drive. Um, it's easy on road tax, as you can see. It's easy on fuel, I guarantee it, because I've driven the car so that is coming from the horse's mouth. I'm 100% sure it's easy on fuel for what you're getting. It looks really nice, um, but it's great fun. It's actually really, really fun to drive, but you don't have to use that manual mode. I just use that, but you can still use the automatic mode, which is what most people, I suspect, are going to do on a car like this anyway. Um, and the main thing about a car like this is you're buying a car like this because it is significantly cheaper than a brand new one. So this car, as we were saying, is two years old. There's about 33 or so thousand kilometers on the car right now. And if you compare the price of this to a brand new car with heated seats, with a reverse camera as well, in a 220 AMG line, the car is significantly less expensive than buying a brand new one. And you're still getting um, a really, really nice car. The car will be supplied with uh, warranty for 12 months and also roadside assist as well and then as we were saying we have sold this car brand new so we know the car 100 percent and after that then in terms of if you have a trade-in uh, please do give me a call because i can offer you a trade-in allowance for any car you have and then if you have um as most people do now they will want to take out a portion of well some people pay cash but very very few most people are taking out a financial agreement so we can run through that with you and we deal with all the major lenders so it'll be sensible finance so i hope this cla 220 amg line um is of interest to you thank you for taking time to watch i hope the video is useful if there's many oops if there's uh, if there's more information you'd like in the car please do give me a call 086-843-1945 uh, give me a shout out anytime, I'll run through any information you need um, and no matter where you are in the country because we deal with people all over the country because of the internet obviously the way things are these days so um, thank you for taking time to watch, hopefully this car is of interest to you